Hello my dear beautiful bastard and Peter, your glorious lord and welcome to 60 seconds. 60 seconds is a game about survival with your family in your fallout shelter. First you collect supplies as much as you can within 60 seconds and then you go into your fallout shelter and you try to survive as long as you can. A lot of people have been playing this game and a lot of people have suggested that I play this game and my eyebrow is very itchy. Stop it eyebrow, stop it. So I'm going to go ahead and play a new game and the apocalypse. The full atomic experience, scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. We're gonna play on the fat man, normal. Begin adventure. Okay, let's do this, my friend. We can do this 60 seconds to collect a lot of shit. So first things first, we're gonna start from here. So we got four cans of food. Let's take four cans of food first. One, two, three, four. Four, excellent, to the shelter. So we are good with food. This is going to be enough food. Then we can take the the fat girl. And is this the radio? Yes, it is. Let's take the radio as well. Come on, move. Move! Please move. Oh, shit, move. Okay, we got the girl and the radio. Uh, let's take some water. So this is one water. Uh, we're going to take four water as well. So this is two water. Oh, we can take health as well. Let's take health as well. Uh, we're going to need uh, two more, two more water, right? One water, uh, two water, excellent. Two waters, and where's the shotgun? I kind of need the shotgun as well. Okay, let's do this. Uh, take the kid, and take the shotgun from here, come on. Uh, come on! Uh, do it! Oh, oh, I think I did it! Okay, day one, we got... A lot of food, a lot of water, some health, ra radio, it's gonna be fine. So here we are, the three of us are safe and sound, we just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was four of us, not really, I don't give a shit about the wife. Our shelves are full of cans, we'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans, some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Excellent, very nice. No supplies for anyone, for the beginning. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. <laughs> Day two, come on. Give it to me, baby. Let's see what's going on. We decided to act out scenes from our favorite movies to amuse ourselves, at least for a moment. For some reason, every time we picked a new scene, we ended up with one from a Humphrey Bogart film. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Tim is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Ted is fine. Nice. I'm not gonna give them anything. Oh, what is this? It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the west wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted seems to be really good shape for a trip. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Yes, we should. Let's do it. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we will keep our peace. Or else, or else we're gonna die. Now he needs to survive, you know, the dad needs to survive because if there's no adult, everything goes to shit. And we do not want things to go to shit, my friend. Day three, or else we might find ourselves in even more trouble. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Ted should drink something soon. So they are thirsty. So we're gonna give them some drinks so you can drink. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh, toxic air, maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies, that is if we want to survive. I'm gonna send the fat, the fat girl, she needs to lose some weight anyway. And yes, I dislike very fat people, I think they shouldn't be fat. There's enough resources in the world for you to not be fat, so please don't be fat. Fatness is not nice. Day 4, Mary Jane went outside, let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy seems, Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. Ted is not complaining today, at, la at least not very much. Time to ration supplies, nah, you don't need anything. What's that trickling sound, and why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life preservers, or a boat. A boat wouldn't even fit inside this shelter. We need to do something, save the supplies. I guess I have to use the radio since I don't have anything else to use. <laughs> oh well. Day 5. 
The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it had done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days, and what's that smell? Timmy is on his best behavior, how long will it last? There's nothing going on with Ted, nothing new anyway. Time to ration supplies, I could give them some food, but they're not asking for it, so why would I give them food? We always steered away from casinos, gambling, dens and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. Well, okay, <laughs> what about that? I don't really have cards, so I can't really... I can't really be involved in that. Day number six. What's happening on day number six? Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We send that man away. Good riddance. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. So I'm gonna give them drinks. Give them drinks. Good news everyone, the government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they are useful for something. We should head out to get those crates as soon as possible. Grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. Unfortunately, I do not have any protection gear. I probably should have gotten something instead of so much food. But hopefully that will, you know, be okay. They will be fine. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Nothing new to report on Timmy. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Time to ration supplies. We don't need anything. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there is any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Take the gun and shoot the bitch. Yes, shoot the bitch in the face. Come on. Oh, she's back. Oh, she is sick. She's gonna die. <laughs> the fat girl is gonna die. A quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. The silent wasteland had at least one resident who managed quite well. It was a proud looking monkey. Hmm? Huh? We had no idea where it came from. The zoo, maybe? It seems very friendly. After getting a few parts, or pets on the back and playing fetch, it started following us. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. Oh ho! No one even tried to open them. The same could be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Plus one water. Yes! Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Oh. Timmy's on his best behavior. How long will it last? I don't know. Why would you ask me that? This morning has been calm for Ted and he's doing well. So she could use some help and some, some drinks, maybe some food as well. I mean, she is fat, so she she's used to eating more than usual. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Ted is happy to risk his life <laughs> Ted, Ted is happy to risk his life. Well, I'm not happy and I'm not ready to risk your life. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out. Timmy can do it. Timmy can, Timmy can go to the wasteland. Uh, should we start preparing an expedition? Why not? I mean, I have some health over here, so they will probably be fine. We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looked innocent enough, even after it ate through the table <laughs> and the chair and the floor. Patching up that pipe is probably a good idea, but I have nothing. Shit. Probably <laughs> I hope they don't die. That would suck balls. Day number nine. Oh, she's better. She is fine. We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. Shit. They're gonna be... Something is bad. Bad is happening. I don't like that. Mary Jane is all well now. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, so he's thirsty and he needs both. And that is good. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the, the blast. Maybe someone is still alive. Let's find out. Who should go outside? The fat girl will go outside again. 
She needs to lose weight. We established that already. Day number 10. We can do this. We can do this. Survival of the fittest. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Ted is hungry. So, Ted, here's some food for you. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. I'd suspect there's something wrong. We suspect. We suspect. With the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow. But how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Oh crap, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. This is bad. It's really bad. <laughs> They're gonna die. Day 11. Oh, they're still feeling fine. Excellent. We decided to ignore any problems with the vents and focus on other problems. As predicted, all of us developed a nasty cough and had trouble breathing, but it got better next morning. We don't know what the issue was, but the important thing is it's gone now. Nice! Nothing new to report on Timmy, there isn't much going on with Ted, no trouble, nothing new. They are doing so wonderfully, beautiful, you are so, so wonderful people. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must ex exist. Exist. Difficult word. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Radio. Yes. Yes, baby. Come on, make contact. We need contact. Day 12. 12 is the day of survival. Let's do this. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said that they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait for their instructions. Timmy should eat something. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Ted's stomach is rumbling. All Ted wishes for a few drops of water. Okay, so they both need food and water. No problem. Mutated rod rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All of these options are pretty grim. <laughs> we could use spare ammunition or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. So we got the gun. Hopefully that will help us out. Will the gun help us? Day 13. Oh, this, this is a deadly day. Are we good? Our cans are saved. Yes, too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Let's continue. It is high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about our brave new world? Yes, let's do that. Why not? Radio is very, very useful. We must have a radio. Day 14. Let's see. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is feeling being very brave. That is fine. Okay, they are fine. They don't need anything. It is difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon. Or else... Everyone dies. Is the girl back? Day 15, she's still not back, she's probably dead by now. Probably. Or else we might face dangers we've never dreamed of. Dreamt of. Dreamt, not dreamed. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Ah, oh, Timmy, you greedy bastard. If that, if Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. So they want drinks? I can give you drinks. We need medical supplies and what we have is a bad joke. Time to do something about it. That bug spray is just standing there, why don't we use it to make drugs? This is an amazing idea. What bug spray? I don't have bug spray. I don't have bug spray, come on, game. You silly little bird. <laughs> you silly little bird. Day 16, oh, she's back, but she is sick and I don't have any medical supplies. Too bad didn't, we didn't have that spray. Homemade drugs sound like an excellent idea. I don't think so. <laughs> Homemade drugs sound like a really bad idea that can get you killed. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good to look through to get food and water. Our expedition was coming home with nothing to show for all the searching, but then they stumbled across full trash cans in our neighborhood. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Yes, sure. I guess. One of our pre-blast neighbors threw out a few unopened cans of soup. Ha! Huh. 
the joke's on him. If he's in his shelter right now, he's probably full of regrets with a lawn like that. Who wouldn't be? Plus one food. Excellent. Oh, the irony. Or maybe a paradox. Or maybe neither. A gas mask is lying in a pile of stinky garbage. Oh, nice. A gas mask as well. This is awesome. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane contracted an illness. Mary Jane is really tired. So she is in trouble. She's in trouble, we don't have a lot of water, and she will probably die. I don't really have anything here, so I'm gonna give her some food. I'm just gonna give her food. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. Should we start repairing an expedition for tomorrow? Mm, not really. That's a bad idea. Playing a game or two might be a good way to achieve the mood and take our minds off problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try every now and then? That is correct. Let's see what will happen next. Day 17. She is still sick. Hopefully she will not die. That would suck balls. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Timmy is very hungry. Ted's stomach is rumbling. So they need food and she needs water. Should I give her water? Okay, okay, let's give her water, maybe things are going to be fine. Let's prepare an expedition, maybe I can send her back out, you know, and maybe she survives. I don't know. <laughs> We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument of two. Never intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other, let's hope this won't last too long. Stupid bastards. This is not the time to be fighting, family. Not the time to be fighting. Day 18. There is nothing better than the quiet after the storm, or was it the other way around? Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, they are thirsty, and she is hungry. Let's do that. Running out. Running out of things. She should go outside. The kids should go outside. Day 19. Let's see what's going on. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what will what he'll do. Tim, Ted is not complaining, so everything is fine. Nobody needs anything. Well, she needs help, but I don't have any med medical supplies. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. Nice! We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we were alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. Ah, shit, I don't have a map. I didn't have enough time for a map. Unfortunate, I'm not gonna survive for long. Day 20? Day 20. We were sure we would find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get lucky next time. Ah. Mary Jane needs water. Ted is okay. She needs water. I don't, I'm not gonna give her water. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Let's do something about this then. Hopefully something will happen. Something useful. Day 21. Oh, she is... <laughs> she is... Poor girl. How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Everyone has to drink, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Mary Jane is pretty fatigued, Ted's stomach is rumbling, so he needs both, and she needs a little bit of water, I don't want to give her water, but okay, okay, I'm gonna give her water, but this is the last time. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking at the door, who could it be at this hour, who could it be in this part of the wasteland, how in the hell did they survive the nook, should we open up? Huh. Let's open up, see what happens. Day 22? Oh shit. Someone started shooting at us. We closed the hatch as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. I don't have any medical supplies. This is so bad. We wish we could just leave. Sitting down here with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. God damn it. Come on, Timmy. You, Timmy, you have to save the day, Timmy. Where are you, Timmy? We need Timmy. We can take care of ourselves. A little food. She could use some food. I have enough food, so you can have some food. 
Remember that time Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got sick, she had a wound on her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like, looked like something had bitten her. Now that injury is looking much worse. We fear it might be infected. We have to clean it up. I can't. I can't. I can't. Everyone is gonna die. This is not good. My friend, this is not good. I hope she doesn't inf infect him. That would be bad. Mary Jane will be fine. It's not the first time and it won't be the last time she's sick. She's looking a bit pale today though. Everyone has to drink, including Mary Jane. Ted needs water, so I'm going to give him water, but I'm not gonna give her shit. How about that trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while now? Maybe we should go there. It's our first stop after we get out of here. <laughs> if. If. Oh, Timmy's back. Please, Timmy. Please, Timmy, did you bring something? Oh, he, he didn't bring shit, I think. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Good job, Timmy! Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed, we should be more careful next time. We liked our street, especially during national celebrations. Everyone joined in and decorated their lawns and houses. Plenty of fun was to be had. The street doesn't look like it will be used for any celebrations anytime soon. Poor street. Not in the next hundred years anyway. But we had an idea. Maybe something useful could still be found amongst the rubble. We found one of our neighbors picking up books. He claimed he was looking for one titled How to Serve a Man. Apparently it's a cookbook. All he found was a scout handbook which he gave to us. It's not the same he claimed for reasons he didn't go into. A book. What the fuck? Do I need a book for? A band of kids were playing war in nearby ruins. They had plenty of real guns and ammunition. <laughs> nice. It's very encouraging to see that kids are making the best of this terrible, terrible situation. They even shared some ammunition with us. So we got some bullets. Everyone has to drink, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? No. Timmy should eat something. Ted is fine. Get food. I'm not going to give her any drinks. The state of this wasteland is now in bullshit, so Timmy can go, so... Yeah, no, shh, whoops, back, go back. Timmy can go outside. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. We call it the Thunder Dome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it and decided that maybe it would be best to play something simpler. Probably, probably. Mary Jane, are you fine? Oh shit, he's sick as well. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, something to drink. Timmy, water. Water, Timmy needs water. Ted needs everything. Oh no. Timmy needs water. I'm out of water. I can give Timmy everything. Enough sitting around. Time to visit the surface. Timmy can go. Come on. Please survive. Please, everyone. Day 27. Please survive. Don't, don't die. No. What happened? Where, where is the girl? Where is the girl? When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out of the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that will regret this, that she is getting her water one way or another. We are seriously ter terrified right now. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Shit. Shit. I'm out of water. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area. Yeah, geographical coordinates, but we don't have the map. Unfortunate. Survive, man. Don't die. Day 28. Okay, we are good. He's still alive. Survive. We were sure we could find a location with a map. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Eh. We were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a trader who is very interested in ammunition. How about that? Nice. Can give him some ammunition. Give me health. Health. Health, please. Day 29. Health. No, not... What? What the fuck? I gave him ammunition and he gave me ammunition. Shit! Noises are coming from below. I can't... I can't do anything about that. Please, Ted. Don't die, Ted. Day 30. Entire month. Oh, shit. He, he went crazy. <laughs> Ted is completely insane. Oh crap, Ted's stomach is rumbling, Ted has gone crazy. Oh shit, this is not good. The first aid kit we have is useless, bug spray to create life-saving drugs. I don't have a bug spray. Don't die, Ted. One more day, come on. Timmy, come back! 
Timmy, we need your help. Too bad we didn't have that spray. He won't last long. I don't have any drinks. We really miss the life we had, the space, the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to time before with the damn bomb dropped. Unfortunate. Come on. Come on, survive. Survive. No. No. Ted. Ted, no. What about Timmy? Ted died of dehydration. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. This is probably the best one. Ah, oh, unfortunate. 32 days. What can I say, my friend? I tried my best. 32 days. Not too bad. Not too good. <laughs> but it's fine, I guess. I hope you enjoyed. This was 60 seconds. A game about survival. In 60 seconds you actually decide your future, more or less. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more. If you want more, I will make more. But that will be all for now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I truly hope so. It's a very fun game. And I will see you next time. Thank you.